begin with changes over in Pasco County schools that could affect thousands of students, parents, and teachers in just a few short months. Yeah, the superintendent there now proposing new school start times in an effort to deal with the bus driver shortage. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton just stepped out of that meeting. So, J.J., if this is approved, what time will students be going to school? And basically, school starts and end time will shift about 30 minutes earlier or later, depending on the school. And Superintendent Kurt Browning wants parents to understand and know that he doesn't like this plan. He doesn't want to do it, but he says this is their last option to get kids to school on time. And late school buses means lost instructional time. And uh, if we are going to provide that education uh, to the kids that deserve it and are entitled to it, uh, we've got to make sure that those kids are in their seats when the bell starts. Uh, Superintendent Kurt Browning says they have no choice. The district doesn't have enough bus drivers, and right now hundreds of students are arriving to school late because drivers have to double up on routes. If Browning's plan is approved by the board, the schools that currently start at 840 will now start at 910, and schools that start at 940 will now start at 1010. Dismissal time will be about 30 minutes later. It's a horrible plan. Nobody likes, including this superintendent. The times are a bit different for high school and middle schools. This is very unusual for us to do this, where we would change a bell tier or start times in the middle of a year. Speak to the, the frustration and just the feelings of being basically having to do things that you don't necessarily think are good. Well, I, there's been a couple things over the last 20 months that I've had to do that I don't necessarily agree with. Uh, and this one, I don't like, I don't agree with it. I don't think anybody at the district staff, my cabinet, likes this plan. Uh, but it's all about getting kids in school and, again, creating routes that our drivers are consistent, less chaotic, getting kids to school on time. Now, they will be just discussing this proposal today. They will not be voting until probably November on this plan. And Superintendent Browning says he wants parents to understand that this, again, is his last option. They are trying to work out some ways to help parents with child care for those who are concerned about their kids being left home because they have to go to work. Reporting live in Pasco County, I'm J.J. Burton, ABC Action News. Tough.